this morning, I got to sit with my mother and catch up with her for a good while. And it was great because I don't get to see her very often. She's been working a lot. And we got together at her home and sat in the backyard. And started talking, catching up. Now, uh, she had asked me if I had written in a card that she had got me to give to my sister the other week, uh, a couple of weeks ago for her birthday. And I had not. And I proceeded to explain why to her. I told her that I don't like to get cards for people. Uh, for a special event. Uh, in celebration of a special event. And neither do I like to receive cards. Now, my mom is very sensitive. She's very traditional in different ways. I told her that the reason being is that I don't believe cards are a good way to express your gratitude for somebody. The same goes with pictures. My mom told me, well, these are memories that you and your sister get to look back on. <clears throat> now, the way I like to show care to people that I'm close to is I like to pick up the phone and call to check on people on a consistent basis. If you're a good friend of mine, if I don't hear from you in a couple of weeks, I will either send you a text message or try to give you a call. If it's your birthday, I will send you a message or give you a call, not write a birthday card for you. And if you look back and look at memorabilia, pictures of loved ones, of your parents, people that are no longer with you, an ex, pictures, uh, cards that you've received from a special someone, that is going to put you in an emotional state of being. You're going to experience sadness. My mom definitely disagreed with my way of thinking. She said, well, that's inhumane. You, you have to show compassion. 
people need to show compassion for one another. Now, it's not black or white. You can show compassion, but everyone has their own way of doing so. And my opinion happens to defer for my mother's. But I wonder if there is a way that we can train ourselves to erase negative emotion. My mother told me that that's abnormal, that's unhealthy mentally, uh, and it can cause mental issues because you're not supposed to deny how you feel. It's not that you deny how you feel. Never do that. The first step to recovery is to acknowledge your feelings. But you want to avoid any thing that can put you in a negative state of mind. We should be able to train ourselves by avoiding negativity at all costs. And again, this doesn't mean not to be compassionate. You may not want to go to a funeral. Of somebody that you're close to. Because it's too much negativity. The sadness, the mourning of that loss is going to put you in a negative state of mind. What I would do, and I've been to funerals before, but I've, I, I think that I'm no longer going to go to any funerals from this point forward. What I would do is show my condolences, not by apologizing. Oh, I'm sorry for your loss. That is the most cliche line that you can use. It's overused. Everyone says that. Don't be sorry because being sorry is not going to fix the repercussions of that loss. What you can do, this is what I would do, is you you don't go to that funeral. You call those affected. Say it's a friend's a friend that is deceased. There's a funeral held for him. You call his loved ones and you let them know. Hey, I just want to let you know that I'm not going to be attending the funeral because I don't want to see my friend in this state, in that state. It's too much negativity for me to bear. But I want to let you know that I'm here for you. If you want my support, let me know how I can give it to you. That's how you can be compassionate. That's how you can show remorse as a human being with a heart, with a soul, with a conscience. But for me, I believe there's a way that we can train ourselves to completely be void of any negative emotion. And this, I could be onto something here. And I'm not sure if anyone else has thought of this or if anyone else has publicly brought this up 
But it is a very deep thought to have. And it may help by eliminating anything that has a negative connotation attached to it from our lives. By doing so, can we be happier people? Now, I don't get along with my parents very well. But, I've told myself that I don't want to have any regrets later down the line. So, I'm always cordial with them. I'm always respectful to them. We just have too many disagreements in the way we think. But would you be able to go to your own parents' funeral? That is a very tough question to ask yourself. And you want to ask yourself this question in preparation for when your parents, or any loved one for that matter, departs. Would you be able to attend your own parents' funeral? Now, it doesn't make you a bad person for not doing so. But you have to be selfish to some extent and protect your inner being. And you can do so by eliminating any negative energy from your life. I thought about it and it's not realistic. I mean, of course I would have to go to my own parents' funerals because who else would handle those arrangements, those necessary arrangements to be made in the event of that? Someone has to. Now, I always thought, or I'm thinking that, well, my sister would probably, I would delegate that to my sister. I'm too selfish. I would probably avoid burying my own parents. I've buried a friend before. And I was surrounded by people crying and emotional. And that's fine. But do you want to be surrounded by that? Because that's going to put you in a negative state of mind. Just a thought to share. <laughs>